Congratulations on your purchase of your new stealth printer. Are you ready to go from this to this with your newly purchased stealth printer? I'm going to show you how to do just that. Hi, my name is Garrett Plumley. I'm the videographer here at Specially Tag and Label, going to help you set up your new stealth printer. In your stealth printer delivery, you should have received a stealth printer, a power cord, USB cable, ribbon, two ribbon spindles, a ribbon core, a roll mount, and of course, your tags and labels. Now, in a little baggie, you should have also received a quick start manual, a CD disc with all the drivers you need to install Bartender on your computer, and a flash drive with all the templates you need to create beautiful tags and labels. Now, you might be wondering, what if you don't have a CD disk drive on your computer? Don't you worry, we're going to go over offline and online installation in this video. First, we're going to connect the power cord to the printer. You can also see that this is where you connect to the USB port, but we're going to plug that in later. Now we're going to load the ribbon. Start by pushing down and pulling up on the plastic lid. Equip your ribbon and make sure it's oriented so that the top side of the leader faces the back of the printer. Insert the ribbon spindle into the ribbon's core. Let's load the ribbon spindle spring side first and lock side second. Lastly, pull some stray leader off the ribbon and feed it into the printer. We're going to attach it to the bare ribbon core in just a moment. Let's close the plastic lid and open up the printer using the release latches here on the side. The cover here will catch it. Now, let's pull out some of that extra lead. Now that we have plenty, we can close the printer. This time, we're going to attach the ribbon lead to the ribbon core. Start by opening up the printer lid. Grab your ribbon core and insert the spindle. Make sure that the lock side is going on to the spring. Insert it like so. Give it a quick spin to make sure it's correct. And now, attach the ribbon lead to the spindle. Press it down firmly so that it sticks. And then you can begin the process of rolling it up. You should be able to see now that some of the black is coming through. And now you can make sure that you turn the on switch on to get this. Once it pulls and you get a green light, you're all good. It's important to take note of the printer's sensor that's adjustable depending on the tag you wish to print. The square or black mark sensor is what's used for sensing pot tag material while the gap sensor beneath here on the pinch guide is used for slip-on and pressure-sensitive material. I'm now going to show you how to load tag material. With me today, I have the ZX5141, the TX10775, and the FT20102. I'm going to show you how to do the ZX first. The labels of the ZX roll off the top of the roll mount. After inserting it like so, Set it on the roll mount and let it glide like this. Here is a demonstration of the direction in which the tags feed into the printer. With the tags fed inside through the back of the printer, we can pull the tags under this here and align them with the pinch guides.
Double check your sensor real quick and align the black mark just above the pot tag notch. This is the correct position. The square reader will indicate when a new tag needs to begin printing. Here, here, and so on. All you need to do is make sure that you have a tag exiting the printer in line with the pinch guides there. Pull on the release latch, closing the printer. And like that, you're ready to print. Slip on material like the TX here rolls easier off the bottom, like so. When you set the pinch guide, make sure that the tags are secure so that the gap sensor located beneath this pinch guide picks up the notch of the tags. Align the slip-on tags notch up here to here so that the tags can be picked up in the printing process. Pressure sensitive material can be loaded off the top or bottom of the roll mount, but you want to make sure that the stock is facing up when loaded into the printer and the back sheet facing down. Identical to the slip-on tags, pressure sensitive material is detected by the gap sensor located beneath this pinch guide right here. Align a gap in the material after pulling the tag through, and you'll be ready to print. And just like that, your hardware is ready. Now, let's get some software installed. In your specialty tag and label order, you should receive this disc, which includes the latest software, Bartender, on it, and all the drivers you need for installation. Go ahead and insert this disc into your PC and follow the instructions as prompted. If you don't have a CD disk drive, follow along with me where we're going to download the Bartender software off the speciallytag.com website. On our website, speciallytag.com, navigate to technical support and then software help. If you scroll down, you'll arrive at all you need to activate Bartender. First, select Bartender Ultralight for your appropriate Windows version, which in my case is Windows 10. You'll need to enter all the information in the appropriate fields. And then wait a couple of minutes for the email to be sent. Be sure to check your spam box in case it doesn't appear in your inbox. With the program downloaded, go ahead and select the program. Agree to the bartender installer. And now just follow the instructions as prompted. If at any point I'm moving too quickly through the tutorial, feel free to pause the video and refer back to what I've said. It's now time to activate a licensing key. Search for the licensing key inside of your download. Copy paste the key in. Hit next. Here you'll have the option to accept and receive updates from Ultralight, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to skip here. Now we're ready to install the drivers. Beneath Bartender on the Specialty Tag website is the link to the drivers. We'll install the branded printer drivers for the Stealth printer. Click on the link below and follow the instructions as prompted. Make sure your printer is not plugged in or connected via USB until now. Once plugged in, you can match the printer model displayed here with the model located on the back of your printer. At last, we can design our labels using the Stealth Flash Drive. On the Stealth Flash Drive, there's a number of templates for the tags and labels we provide. There's also an installation guide for installing those templates onto Bartender. If you need more help downloading the templates, refer to the video linked under Bartender Templates on the speciallytag.com website. Once you've imported your templates, you can start up Bartender. 
I've already followed the instructions to copy and paste the templates for the tags referenced in the Stealth Flash Drive's Word document. But if you need assistance, refer to the help video under Bartender Templates on SpecialtyTag.com. You'll want to select Start a New Bartender Document, select Template from Library, and within your Bartender Documents should appear well over a dozen templates for different tags and labels. Click Next, select the printer you wish to use, and Finish. Your tag will appear before you. You're now free to design and print to your heart's desire. We recommend using bold fonts for the text to appear especially clear on the tag. I'm going to print out Hello World and show it to you. Click File, Print, select the printer you wish to use, and print one final time to do so. Just press print and you got yourself a new tag. And there you have it. The Stealth Printer is ready for use. If you have any additional questions, call us at 1-800-475-2040 or email us at techsupport at specialtytag.com. Once more, I'm Garrett Plumley, and thank you for following along with me today.